Joining us, the Central Valley is often called the breadbasket of the world. You don't have to go far to find fresh produce, and one family has been using the Golden State's rich soil for almost a hundred years. Today, we're getting the introduction with the help from a chef who uses the quality ingredients in his own dishes. Let's now welcome our very own Valley chef, Vinny D'Angelo, along with the Marcini family of J. Marcini Farms, Joe, Jeff, Mark, and Francesca. How are you guys? And welcome to the show. So happy. To have you here. Thank you. Thank you. Vinny, we're going to start with you. You have to let us know how did this partnership happen? Well, I grew up in the Italian neighborhoods in New York, and then I went on to graduate the Culinary Institute of America. And years later, I wound up in California and have been in the restaurant business for the last 25 years. And when I first started, Joe was part of that. He helped me get started, and he would bring me fresh produce from his farm. And this farm to table. Movement has been going on for a long, long time. Wow. So over the years, we've forged a great partnership. Yeah. As long as I could cook good, Joe would be happy. Of course, that's what matters. As soon as you stop cooking, get then he would. Yeah. Like, okay, this partnership is over, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and Joe, of course, we're going to go with you. Can you tell us a little bit about the Martini family? How did everything start? It well, it all started uh, when Dad came to this country in 1929, and he located the grand. And he started farming there, and that's how we started. And, and right now we, we have four generations what, uh, in the deal right now. And uh, uh, well, my dad, and he'd be proud if he ever came back and see how we grew with other different kinds of vegetables and stuff. And of course, it's a family thing, right? Yes, yes. How did, how okay. did you guys get involved as well? Well, I'm, I'm third generation, so uh, my father brought me in in, in the early 80s and uh, uh, formed a partnership, Jay Marquini Farms. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, it's been successful um, with our, uh, especially with our Italian, our Italian specialty line of products. Yeah. Uh, my, Mark, uh, my son Mark and my daughter Francesca, along with my son Nick, joined uh, after graduating from college. They came back. Uh, which I'm very pleased to see they were able to come back and join the family farm and uh, they all have different uh, roles and responsibilities with the uh, with the company but uh, it's a big part of our success that uh, we have three generations currently active in Jay Marquini farm my father being the first and it makes for some interesting moments at times uh, but definitely uh, his passions rolled on to myself and then to my uh, my my, uh, we have four children, but three are currently uh, very active in J. Martini Farms. I love that, and we were looking at some pictures, family pictures there. Well, that one is Cardinal. produce, and then another produce picture. And I love the fact that you know it's a family thing because you know you guys help each other and you guys help each other grow, right? And Vinny, what makes your produce so special? It's fresh. It's local, and we like to keep everything local, fresh, and homemade. And of course, for the people that aren't too familiar, what do you guys have? Like, what is it that you guys produce? Well, we just, first we started with tomatoes, and then, and then I was always in, as a little kid, I always worked with my dad in the garden, and uh, he had this chicory. It was, it was green, though. So I went to Italy in 1958, and I could saw these, this red radicchio. I never saw it. So I got real enthused about it, uh, not so much then. I got a little older, and uh, I decided I was going to try to grow it. And uh, how I did that, I started asking questions and, and trying to know, meet people. And I do speak fluent Italian, so that really helped me a lot. Right, yes. You need to be speaking Italian because if you speak, then it won't give you the time of day. Well, I got caught with a couple of guys that. Uh, they gave me the seed, but the seed didn't work. Hmm. There was something behind the seed there that they got different varieties for different times, and it never came off right. So I had a hard time getting, to, getting them to sell me the right stuff, so they finally sent it to me, and uh, it started to work out pretty good. And uh, from there, we went to different varieties, and. Uh, Without learning it, I say it, without learning that Italian language, it would have been hard for me to get in and do it. Well, that's no, that's great that you never gave up and you actually did it because you guys are huge now, right, Francesca? Like, tell us a little bit more about what you do in there. Well, I do sales and marketing mm -hmm. for 
Jay Marchini, and we grow a lot of different chicories, radicchio, chorizo, Costa Franco. I can show you more in the kitchen later. Ooh, I'm excited But we one. also, on our Instagram feed, you can check all that stuff out, what it looks like and different things like that. But um, we ship all over America and we export to different countries. So it has grown since Joe finding the seed and pioneering it here in California. Definitely. And Mark, can you tell us a little bit about what you do as well in the company? Yeah, I started doing the sales, so that was like my uh, my first job after, well, growing up we worked, you know, in the fields on tractors, watering roads, working with the guys, you know, hoeing, hoeing weeds, all those sorts of things. But I ended up finding like my passion in sales, so we had a small sales team and that's what I started doing and then I just kind of grew up in leadership in the company and now I look after packing operations and coolers and food safety and, oh, a little bit and of everything. still okay. sales. So now, yeah, I kind of dabble in a lot of different things and uh, so it's... So it's fun, and kind of my main thing that I still sell is the fresh figs, yeah. kind of handle that program. Okay. So, yeah, so we, we, uh, we've grown that since the past, past 10 years, and that's been a nice item for us, and, and, a, and it is a growing item. A lot of people have never had a fresh fig, but the people who have them, who have had them, they love them. Oh, so. I'm pretty sure they do. Figs are delicious, and I'm pretty sure when they're fresh, they're even more good. Right, yeah, right. <laughs> All righty. Well,